Hi, this is Ian from Arbor Fabricating, here to demonstrate the brew in a basket. Okay, so we've got our water heated up to about 170 right now, so I'm just waiting for it to cool down a little bit. I'm going to add the grain, start mashing in, um, and basically uh, get my temperature to about where I want it. I'm obviously going to lose some temperature as I mash uh, for 60 minutes, but I am planning on uh, taking a temperature reading about 30 minutes into it just to add some more hot water, get it back about to hopefully 150, 151, uh, making kind of a drier IPA here. Okay, so I've mashed in my grains here, and I'm sitting at about 152 or so. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on right now. It's a pretty warm day out, so that's going to help me to retain this temperature. If I really need to, I can uh, raise the basket up, hit the water for a little bit, but uh, I've also got some uh, water in, inside in a five-gallon pot that I'm going to be rinsing the grains with. Um, and I'll probably add some, like I said, at about... 30 minutes in just to make sure that uh, I've maintained my temperatures. But 151 is still going to get me a pretty dry beer. If it drops a little bit, it's going to be a little bit drier. Not a problem. Okay, just added some more hot water to bring it back up to a little bit above 150. Uh, hadn't fallen off that far. Keep in mind my water to grain ratio does not matter as much because I'm not trying to create a filter bed with my grain. Um, I could use adjuncts here. I don't have to use rice holes. I'm pulling a basket out of water. Um, so, a lot easier really. Um, about to add some more hot water to rinse the grain. I'm going to go ahead and raise the basket up and show you the uh, use support that we use to do that. So, we checked for conversion, checked our gravity, uh, rinsed the uh, grain that was in the basket with uh, 180 degree, degree water to end conversion. And uh, then we pulled out the basket, dumped the grains. I rinsed out the basket quickly and now I'm going to go ahead and use it to block shrub. It's uh, not quite as fine as a hop uh, filter, but I think it'll do the job. So we're about halfway through the boil right here, and uh, doing a 75 minute boil, I added uh, some hops at the 75 minute marker, um, and I've dialed it in, but as much as I thought using this as a hop to, to block the hop trub may be a good idea, I realized that you do have to be careful of uh, boiling on the outside of the basket because of the filter being 400 micron. Um, it does block a little bit of the boiling. So again, I've dialed it in, but it was splashing over earlier. Just be careful of that. 